Hello to you all. I hope everyone is feeling very well today. My name is Emily and I will be showing you a preview of my completed Sims 4 save file version 2, which is just my completed save file updated for the Growing Together slash Infants update. If you are interested, I will have the download link down in the description below. Just make sure after you download it, you place it into your game saves folder which is in your electronic arts folder. There are lots of videos that show you how to do this. So anyways, after you place your download into your saves folder, you can load up your game. And when you load up your game, you can hit load game. And then there should be one that says maybe Emily's complete save V2 with this family right here. You'll wanna click that and it should load up. Now there are a lot of sims that I place on here. Not as many as what a lot of other save files have, but I think I have plenty. So you will load up into San Sequoia. I am sorry if I'm not saying that right. My pronunciation is not the best, but this is the new world that came with growing together. Now with my completed save file, I have rebuilt everything. Everything was created by me. The only places I did not build in was the Sylvan Glade and the Alien Planet. But other than that, everything was built by me. So, here's San Sequoia. I have added in a library. There was already a library and a recreation center here already. So I just kind of redid those. I also added in a spa because obviously parents need a relaxation day as well. And I added in a family diner as well. Now I added about 30 plus sims from my completed save file. So there's about 230 plus sims that I have created throughout this entire, like all these worlds, like between every world. Oh yeah, and I also added like a vet clinic as well over here. And then for the quote unquote starter build, I just, it's an empty lot. I didn't build on it. So you have creative freedom for that. But that is what I did there. And with these played households in each of these worlds, they are new from my completed save the very first version of it these ones are well the played households are this one they're new from my version one because all of these that aren't played are from my version one i know i'm sorry i'm so i'm so confusing but anyways yeah that's what that is and then each of these parks like most of the parks i have put in like splash pads and then made sure to accommodate some infants here and there as well but there is that so i can kind of show you a little bit of the builds that i have created most of these are on the gallery with the origin id wickford so here is one of my builds that i have created for this family now i like to build i don't like to decorate <laughs> so the decoration kind of lacks for these builds but i would say that if you want to you are more than welcome to redecorate redesign the inside of these homes i don't mind at all but here is the layout for these well for this house in general and then if you kind of look throughout in the world there's like the spa here and the library over there you can kind of see that so now I can go out again and I can show you another little neighborhood part of this so I can come over to the McKay family and show you their home I did make sure I incorporated infants, obviously, throughout. So here is the McKay's family home right here. I can kind of show you the inside. 
like I said, basic furnishing is what I do. But here is that. And I don't know if you can see any other ones. Well, the diner's over there. You can kind of see that. And then there's uh, the recreation center over there. So there is that. I do, like I said, I do have most of these on the gallery. My origin ID is Wickford. I will have it down in the description below just so in case you want to know how to spell it and whatnot. But there's the vet, library, and so on and so forth. I did end up adding a few more clubs. So with that, I have about 18 created clubs all together in this. But anyways, that is pretty much it. I can kind of show you each of these worlds if you haven't seen them before. So here is Willow Creek. And Oasis Springs. And then you have Newcrest. And then Magnolia Promenade. Or Promenade, however you want to say it. Windenburg. Windenburg's one of my favorite. I loved building in that. Sam Myshuna, which is basically all the apartments here. <laughs> and then we have Forgotten Hollow. There are a lot of worlds now. And then Brindleton Bay. Del Sol Valley. Strangerville. And if you want to look at them, since I'm going pretty quickly, you can go ahead and pause the video and look at them. Go back, pause, whatever. <laughs> but here's Sulani. Oh yeah, for Sulani, I did add a rental. And then Glimmerbrook. Brightchester. This one was one of my least favorite worlds to make. And then we have Evergreen Harbor. Mount Komarevi, Henford on Bagley, Tartosa, Moonwood, Moonwood Mill, Copperdale, and finally San Sequoia. And then, of course, I have the Vacation Worlds as well. So I have Granite Falls, as well as Selva Dorada. Now, I will let you know that you will need every pack except for a few. I did label the few that you do not need under, like, my blog, like, my download. But that is it, pretty much. I hope all of you enjoyed. And I will say this now. Bye-bye.